What's up guys? Kina here from Kina K TV. Post fight to Gabriel Rosado versus Glenn Sapia. A fight which I did not watch live. Watch it afterwards. Um I wasn't really sure. I mean I didn't really pay much attention other than unboxing schedule. I just saw, you know, Gabriel Rosado was fighting Glenn Sapia. Um I was hoping Gabriel Rosado would get the W because he has been having a really tough time with getting wins. I believe he's at what 11 losses now. But lately, Glenn Sapia also, uh, you know, hasn't been really shining the most. The last time I saw him fight was against David Lemieux, which he lost by knockout. So both of these fighters, it's really do or die. But this term has been used quite a lot in boxing. Whenever a fighter loses, it's like, yeah, he's done. Or whatnot. Which should never be the case, in my opinion. For example, Adrian Broner, also Michael Garcia, and then people are like, oh man, he's done. But let's be honest, man. Who cares if a boxer loses, man? At the end, we're watching for entertainment. And they are competing for money. So, I mean, as long as their stock is not going to fall down drastically, I mean. I feel like Lance Happy is just... The problem with Lance Happy, in my opinion, is he has just too much muscle on him. I feel like if he slims down to 154 and, you know, does more like gymnastics, athletic, you know, whatever. And, you know, becomes more elusive... The guy has a lot of potential. Right now, he's just too stiff. I mean, I feel like his arms are too muscular for the reach. Um, his his height is good, but I feel like he can you know slim down and uh, be more uh, effective in a in a lower division. Um, for Gabriel Rosado, huge win. I mean, I just want to see him like fight. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I just want to see him fight like on what five undercards let's just say him taking on lesser known names just to get him winning man just to get him really winning you know build himself up in these in these organizations you know rankings you know you know we just like bulk yourself up to you know in the wbc rankings ibf ibo wba wbo you know stuff like that just build yourself up to where his next fight could possibly be a title eliminator you know so, if Gabe can get a title eliminator, uh, that's pretty, I mean, that's good, right? But that'll be probably against either Billy Joe, Canelo, or Triple G. He lost, he already lost to Triple G. I believe there were talks of, of, um, Billy Joe facing Rizal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe, like, Can Canelo versus... Gabriel Rosado, that's a crew. I mean, I feel like that's a great fight. Um, I mean, if if Triple G wants to rematch Canelo, you know, we can see that fight. I think Canelo will, will win that one. And afterwards, maybe we can see a good fight between him and Rosado. But um, leave what you guys think in the comment section down below. This has been my analysis and recap of the fight. This has been your boy Keenan, signing off. Later.